Hello everyone, I'm JW Speaker and I'm glad you could join me for another review and today I'll be reviewing a Mountain House freeze-dried breakfast skillet. This comes with uh, hash browns and scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage patty, peppers and onions. It's uh, two servings, it has 13 grams of, uh, 13 grams of protein per serving. Uh, has a best by date of September 2048. It's made by Mountain House, uh, Oregon Freeze-Dried Foods Incorporated, uh, Albany, Oregon. There's the uh, nutrition facts and ingredients and instructions. And if you'd like to uh, pause and check that out. And here's the little note that they leave on the bottom. Don't try to make friends with raccoons. They will just charge at you, steal your food, and then laugh about it with their friends behind your back. Seems like pretty good advice. And uh, with this, I will be having uh, cheese spread from an MRE Nation MRE. Uh, MRE Star Tortillas from an uh, MRE uh, Nation. MRE Nation. And then uh, the beverages I will be having will be a. Uh, Co instant coffee from a Spanish ICR and a beverage base orange type 3 from a US MRE and the date code is 6039 so it's from a 2013 all right I'm gonna get some boiling water and I will be right back all right I'm back with the boiling water let's get this thing opened up and that's tear notches. Move over the oxygen absorber. Check it out. It looks pretty good. Some nice pieces of egg there. There's a really nice uh, bell pepper smell and onions coming off. All right, this takes a cup and a half of boiling water. Use our uh, MRE Nation spoon. Give it a good stir. Make sure you get into the corners. And zip it up. It says it takes about uh, eight to nine minutes. And that is really warm. And we're going to use the radiant heat off of this to heat our tortillas up. So we're going to and use this towel. See if we can heat these things up. And we'll flip it about uh, in four minutes. And uh, I'm going to pause and I'll flip it and then I'll come back when it's closer to being done. And I'll get all the, the drinks made up and whatnot. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I'm back. Um, the entree is almost uh, close to being done. I'm going to set it up to the side while we get our drinks made up real quick. All right, first we're gonna do our coffee up. It's our Spanish instant coffee. Looks like a nice powder. There we go. There's a really nice uh, roast smell. And with that, I'll be uh, using a uh, coffee whitener from a Canadian IMP and a off-the-beaten track 
uh, sugar from a British ORP. So that should be pretty good. All right, your hot water in there. We're gonna add about half the cup. I wanna add too much. I'm gonna stir. And then we're gonna get our beverage base orange type three opened up and added to our water. And that fell into my coffee. That's okay. Coffee is stir. And of our orange beverage is stir. Looks like it has some floaties this time. Ugh. Oh, there they go. Right, move these to the side. Get a plate out and uh, get our entree opened up. Check our entree out. See how it rehydrated. Alright, this seems like it worked fairly well. Yeah, and our cheese are nice and warmed up, so this worked very well. Now get our tortillas opened up. Looks like you get a Three little tortillas, you want to make sure you remove the oxen absorber. I thought they were going to be folded, but they're not. They're three small little tortillas. Nice. Get our cheese spread opened up. And you got to make sure you knead it before you open it up. I uh, previously kneaded it up. All right. Get our entree opened up, stirred up, see uh, rehydrated properly. Oh yeah. Looks like it rehydrated nicely. Give it a nice stir. And get some out on the tray. Try it out. So there's two servings, so we'll dump out about a serving. It's about half. It's a decent, po decent portion. Looks like the eggs rehydrated nicely. Potatoes and stuff. Not too watery. All right. This looks really good. I'd like to uh, try the entree by itself first before we make up a tortilla. Get a bit of everything. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, it's really good. The eggs, the eggs are nicely hydrated. Have a nice little crunch to it. You can taste the peppers and the onions, it's really good. The sausage tastes really nice. And then the hash browns, you can really taste the hash browns, it's really good. Mm. I think it does need a little bit of black pepper. And maybe a touch of salt, tell so. Tad of salt, touch of salt.
give that a mix in. If you were just to eat this without any, like if you didn't have any seasonings with you or anything like that, I, I would say it's fine just as it is. But since I'm at home, I wanted to add a little bit to it. Let's give it a try now. The addition of salt and pepper. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Just that little seasoning bit kicked it up just enough. It's really good. All right. Try our coffee. This is the uh, Spanish uh, ACR uh, instant coffee with the whitener and sugar in it. Yeah, it's pretty good like that. It cuts through the bitterness. You can still taste it though, the bitterness of the espresso, but it's pretty good. Not bad. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's uh, it's warm and it's uh, comforting, you know. And it has a uh, cap uh, caffeine in it. Excuse me. Try our orange beverage out, base type three from the USMRE. That's yeah, really good. It has a really nice orange flavor. I uh, I don't know how much water this is, but it's not the 20 that you're supposed to. It's probably yeah, maybe about 10 ounces of water, maybe a little less. I mean, I like it that way, a little bit more stronger. It's uh, I feel it's the way uh, to do it. Well, let's make up one of these tortillas. <clears throat> Throw a little of our stuff on. Our breakfast skillet and some of this awesome cheese thread. Oh yeah, look at that, it looks really good. Yeah, it's really good. I like that. This is the way it should be eaten. Cheese adds a nice little bit more saltiness, a cheesy creaminess that it does not have. And the tortilla, just tortillas are great with everything. Mm. And using the uh, the heat from the the bag to, to heat these up makes them nice and pliable. If I wouldn't have, they would have been stuck together and they probably would have ripped. So doing that, if you don't have a, a way to boil them, if you just boiled it, like if you're in the field and you just boiled enough water to make your coffee in the meal, that's a good way to heat the tortillas up without actually boiling water and having to boil them. Mmm, delicious. I'm going to do another one of those. That's absolutely delicious. Yeah, all the, uh, the Mountain House breakfast I've tried so far has been absolutely delicious. I don't think I've come across something that I haven't liked that they've they've made. Nice and delicious. Yeah. Yeah, this is really delicious. I can't believe this just came out of a bag. If you uh, haven't, like, if you haven't tried this yet... I suggest going and buying one and trying it. This is absolutely delicious. And uh, the cheese spread is a nice addition to it. It uh, makes it that much better. So we will add the rest of our cheese spread here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is delicious. I'll be fitting everything here. Oh yeah. More of our coffee. <sighs> yeah, it is a little bitter. It is a little acidic, but it's not bad. It's not the best coffee I've uh I've had before out of a ration. But the the whitener and the sugar helps. I believe with the, the Spanish ration you usually get uh sweet and condensed milk packets which are awesome so you add that and it it adds the cream and the sugar to it 
And then the orange beverage, always delicious, always. Yeah, but this, absolutely delicious. Go out and get this. Try it. It's really good. All right, so that's everything for the review. I will be finishing everything here. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and hope everybody has a good rest of the day. Um, before I go, I'd like to show you my favorite tattoo. So I will be moving the camera. So yeah, this is a, uh, hold on, here we go, a little hard to do this, this is on my left hand. This is uh, Bela Lugosi as Dracula. This is my favorite tattoo. Yeah, alright, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, like I said, I hope everybody has a awesome and safe rest of their day, and uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks, uh, thanks.